Hi everybody, it's Red Lace. Sorry about that. Uh, I had to reset everything. I don't know what happened, but uh, we're going to get underway here with some Stardew Valley. So we're going to be playing on my main character today and making it pretty in summer year four. So let's get right to it. Hi Fire Dragon! Hey Evertwitch! Hey Weedle! Thanks for being patient, guys. Things just weren't going as planned this morning. <laughs> okay, so it is summer year for Sunday the 21st, so we should go to the traveling merchant today. Looks like my statues are spitting out goodies, so that's good. Let's check the weather. Clear and sunny all day. Spirits are neutral. And it is I, the Queen of Sauce. A viewer from Pelican Town wrote to me recently. Let's see, her name's Haley. She wrote, I tried your pink cake last time I was in Zuzu City and I fell in love with it. Could you share the recipe on your next episode? Well, why not? It's a marvelous cake and you'll never guess the secret ingredient. Melon. Hey, Matt. Yeah, there might be a little buffering going on right now. I had to restart everything here. I had to restart OBS. I had to restart my router or my modem. I had to restart the computer. Nothing was working out for me today, so everything's still kind of kicking on. <laughs> so it might take a minute to calm down, but it shouldn't be long. So please be patient with me today. I'm really sorry. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Hey, Katakuro. Uh, no, Fire Dragon, I don't have two statues of perfection. The purple one is the statue of perfection, but the yellow one is the statue of endless fortune. So uh, that's the new one I got recently by spending a million dollars at the casino to buy it. So it was definitely expensive. <laughs> Okay, I already did that. Um, where's Alex? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Let's give him a, a present. Here, Alex, have a blueberry. Red lace, we're going to have a baby soon. Well, that's right, I forgot, we are. Hey, Pudding Pop. Taking a break from your art project? Well, I'm glad you could stop in and join me. Ah, there's nothing like a good night's sleep next to my wife. I think uh, Han Solo is fascinated by the cat statues. He's like, what are these? <laughs> Just staring at it all day. <laughs> I've got mail. Um, hello. Sorry, I'm not good at writing letters. I made one metal bar too many, and I thought you might need it. Clint the blacksmith. And he gave us an iron bar, so that was nice. Manly! So it's finally not raining, so that's pretty exciting. It's been raining non-stop in my game lately. I have massive lightning and thunder. <clears throat> well, Cheeto, I can't water you if you don't move. I'm watering the cat. He's like, what the heck? Oh, look at him. He's sad. I watered him. <laughs> I didn't know you could water the cat. That's kind of funny. I need to turn on tool hit location. I turned it off the other day. Uh, note to self, don't water the cat. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, throw the bait on my rod. It's like some of my stuff's getting close to being ready, but not quite yet. Looks like my radishes might be ready, I can't tell. You've scared off one whole crow, wow. Best scarecrow ever, one crow. Psh. <laughs> 
That's my radishes already. Okay, so I have to be careful not to pull out the poppies. Not to pull out the poppies so they don't affect my honey. Because normally I do pull out everything and it just turns out terrible, so... We'll hope it goes better this time. Bottom row is always easy. It's the one that's right next to the poppies. I really should start planting stuff next to my my flowers that are... <clears throat> excuse me. That are... Um, only harvestable, harvestable with the scythe. That way I wouldn't have to worry about pulling them out on accident. be a good idea. Alright, let's check on the animals. Haven't checked on the animals in a while because it's been raining, so they've been inside their barns or coops, and I just figured I'd let them do their thing for a while and uh, see how that goes. So, <laughs> we should probably check on them today. Hey, Cortana. Not trying to milk Porky. Oh no, Cortana's almost at four hearts. That's good. How's Porky doing? Porky's only at half a heart. Looks like one of my pathways got blown out by lightning. Typical. Typical. There we go. Anything hiding behind the silo? Hey, Wilma. There's Betsy. Betsy, you have any milk for me? <clears throat> Another pathway gone. There's paths missing everywhere. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. Ramsey. What you doing, buddy? Oh, there's Mo Momo. Momo's my newest cow. She hangs out in the bushes. She likes to hide. <laughs> but she's got milk. What a lovely day. Okay. This tree. I don't like this tree here. It feels like it's right in my way. I can't... I don't know. It just feels like it's in a weird spot. We're gonna knock it down. <laughs> Get all the truffles. Truffles! Okay, and I'll turn my milk into cheese. Drop this stuff back off. I'm gonna put those in there so I can make truffle oil out of them. Do I know how you can cut down trees faster, Asilio? Um, Well, you can upgrade your axe to iridium, and then they only take uh, two hits, one for the tree and one for the stump. So you definitely want to upgrade your axe to the highest level you can get it to, and that'll help you cut down trees a lot faster, which will also keep your energy lower so you don't have to use as much energy to chop down a tree. <laughs> Alright, so let's sell some of these things. Do fiddlehead fern. Oh, I must have got that yesterday. Iridium, diamonds, cheese. Oh, it was a gold cheese. Yeah. Fancy. Another battery pack's ready. It looks like two of them, actually. I wish I could walk behind the house. I don't like that I can't walk around. Hey, gaming giraffe. How's it going today? Who's this? Which duck? Gertrude, my oldest duck. Gertrude. Okay, let's drop these things off. Wow, I have a lot of battery packs. 106 of them. I should really start making some stuff out of my battery packs. By the looks of it. Oh, that's okay, Twitch. <clears throat> Not a problem. I didn't mean to knock that orange out of the tree, but I guess I might as well, so... Ooh, look, I got a duck feather today. Yay! Duck feather! Uh-oh, your dogs are fighting, giraffe. Oh no. Bit your nail halfway off? Wow, sounds like a brawl. Dog brawl indeed. Must be big dogs or little dogs. <clears throat> well, I only got one wool from the rabbits, but I did get some good eggs, so let's make some mayonnaise. Okay, throw my duck feather in there. We'll sell the cloth. Probably take a couple of these and make some fabric since I didn't get much wool. 
Let's go back in. My, my looms are inside, so I need to make more looms. I only have four of them right now. I definitely could benefit from getting more looms. They're little dogs, but they're ruthless. <laughs> hey, Luke! How's it going? Okay. So today, I'm going to work on my tree tapper farm. What is my rabbit doing down here? I, uh... I think I'm going to condense it so I can have more going on here, and so I'm going to make only one space between each tree instead of two. That way I can squeeze in a lot more. Plus I had this weird lightning problem, so it turned one of my maple trees into uh, whatever, the other kind of tree. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've had some issues with my tree tapper farm, so I think I'm just going to redo it. I think it would be nice if I just redid it. Okay. Hey, White Owl! How's it going today? All my hops are ready. It's like all my peppers are ready. Wow, peppers are blowing up. It's a spicy day on the farm. I'm so excited that I got two giant melons now. I'm trying to decide if I want to chop one of them down and just leave one of them, because I know I want to keep at least one, but I'm thinking maybe I should just leave all the giant giant crops and see how many I can get. You're really excited for dessert, Luke? What are you having for dessert? So long to harvest peppers. I feel like I need an automatic harvesting system. Like, whoever makes that mod, that would be awesome. Automatic crop harvesting system. <laughs> and an automatic storage system, so it would harvest it and sort it into my chest. That would be the best thing ever. Save one of my giant melons for the festival pudding. Uh, well, I can't harvest it like as a giant melon. That's not how it comes out. You just get more melons than you usually would. So uh, it doesn't really make a difference for the, the Stardew Valley Fair. If it did, that would be cool. But it doesn't, unfortunately. I wish it did. We're having a banana ice cream... Ban coffee? Wait, okay, banana and coffee? Is that what you're having, Luke? <laughs> a banana coffee sundae? Weedle's got a brownie sundae. Everybody's eating sundaes but me. I'm jealous. Hey, cat. Oh, me too today. Yeah, I had to restart everything. I had to restart Twitch. I had to restart OBS. I had to restart my modem. It was fun. <laughs> So we got started a little late today, actually, because of my technical difficulties, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I was late today, too. <laughs> oh, banana and toffee. Ah, that makes more sense. I was going to say, banana and coffee, that seems a little, I don't know. That's different. <laughs> but toffee, okay. Sounds good. of all these blueberries. I do not need more blueberries in my life. In RF4 you can actually harvest a big crop. That's cool, Pudding Pop. Yeah, I wish we could. I wish we could chop down a ginormous melon. That'd be awesome. Okay, mushrooms. Get the mushrooms going. Thirty-six twenty. Wow. Where'd the day go? Where did the day go? I'm gonna wait on my fruit in here until uh, they get three fruit on them. 
just because I don't want to deal with it. So we're just going to do it occasionally. Um, yeah, Chronic Cat is not going to be around today. He's taking some time off to be with his dog. And uh, he needs some well wishes sent his way for sure. He's uh, not got good news today. So, yeah, he's taking some time. And uh, we'll see him when he's ready to come back. So, yeah, not good for him. Okay, um, sell the stuff that I just got. More battery packs. Why don't we just sell that battery pack? I have so many of them. Alright. Let's drop some stuff off inside. And then we'll start working on those trees. Because it's going to be a little bit of a project. Where are my fiddlehead ferns? Oh, there they are. I only have six of them. I don't have very many. Can you see my collections, White Owl? Um, do you mean in here? Like in my menu? My shipping collections? Looks like, uh, looks like this. Um, looks like I still need to ship a large white egg. For some reason I haven't shipped a large milk, but that's surprising. Bars. Iridium ore. I should work on completing these at some point. Duck feather. I haven't shifted duck feather or a goat's milk or a large goat's milk rather. Hardwood. Fish. I still have some work to do on the fishing front. I need to catch the legendary fish. I still haven't done that. My artifacts. Minerals. I should tell you what the one is you're missing, so I'd know. It'd be nice if I could actually see it, wouldn't it? I only need one mineral, though. That's not bad. Just need to figure out what this one is, and then I'd have all of them. Um, cooking. Looks like I haven't done a lot of cooking. <laughs> uh, usually when I cook, it's for a birthday gift, so I don't ever ship it. And then my achievements. So I'm just missing a complete collection. Gourmet chef. Craft Master, Full Shipment, and Master Angler. It's a Lemon Stone White Owl. Tiger Eye. Tiger Eye. Let me see if I have that. I've been keeping my stuff down here, so... A Tiger Eye. Um, tiger Eye... It was kind of a roundy one, wasn't it? I have a Lemon Stone. Are you sure it's not it? Maybe it is a Lemon Stone. Um... Let's see. If I don't have a lemon stone, that would be that one. So... Oh no, I have a lemon stone. So it must be the tiger's eye. Yeah, I don't think I've found one of those yet. I don't have a tiger's eye. Unless it's in here. But I don't know why it would be in this chest. Um... Yeah, I don't see it. I don't think I have a tiger's eye yet. Too bad. Nope. No tiger's eye. Said I needed to ship a hardwood. I haven't shipped a hardwood yet. That's surprising to me, but... Pop! There we go. <laughs> There's a hardwood. Alright, let's chop those trees down and redo them. Let's do this row first. Okay. So, we need all this stuff to go. Everything's gotta go. Gonna have to remove the fencing too. This will give me a lot more tappers though in a small space, and I can get rid of them everywhere else so I don't have them spread all over the farm. Okay, so we need to get rid of all the fencing. 
fencing. Oops, pathway. My bad. I'll fix that later. All right, Luke. I'll see you later. Thanks for stopping and saying hi. It's dark over here now without having all my my lamps. Okay, so that is the pine tree row. So let's plant pine trees. So we're gonna do them just one space apart. So they're really tightly packed in here. So one space. Oops, losing my marker. One. All right, and that'll give us a lot more trees. So that'll be good. <laughs> Oh, you're not leaving, you're just going back to school now. Oh, okay, so your break's over then, Luke, huh? No more break. Hey, Ari, what's going on? Glad you made it. You know, I actually don't need to get rid of that bottom row. Oops. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Uh oh, 12 a.m. 12 a.m. alert. Alright, well, I guess I'm not gonna get all of them planted in one night. That'd be crazy to think I could, but it'd be nice if I could. It's just not gonna happen. Alright. I am doing well. Thank you, Ari. Thanks for asking. One AM. See if I can cut these last couple trees down and then I'll go to bed. I can make it. <laughs> okay. Okay, what is this tree doing here? What are you doing? Okay. Not allowed. 1.30. Am I going to make it? I forgot to go to the traveling merchant. Ah, oh, man. I forgot. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Did I know I can get three statues from different hidden boxes around the map? Yes, White Owl, I've heard about that. I haven't done that yet, but it is on my list of things to do. But yeah, I haven't done it quite yet. I think someone told me about it last time I was playing Stardew, Stardew Valley. And uh, um, that was like two or three days ago. So yeah, I just haven't done it yet. I've been playing Dark Souls the last few days. So I haven't got around to it. Gonna go Dark Souls yourself? <laughs> Your boyfriend's going back to play Dark Souls right now. <laughs> okay, today is the dwarf's birthday. So the dwarf, hmm, what does he like? I haven't got anything for the dwarf in some time. I need to drop some things off real fast. What does the dwarf like? I know he likes dwarf related things, but what else? I need to plant those. Does he like void eggs? Is that the dwarf or is that Krobus? Krobus likes void eggs, not the dwarf. So I need the dwarf's birthday gifts. What does the background sound, Luke? Oh, my boyfriend's making lunch, so he's uh, in the kitchen right now. So you're probably just hearing him. Okay. A million tree tappers need to find a home outside my inventory for a temporary time being. Um, maybe we should just make a chest for them. 
don't even have a spot to put a chest right now. Okay, chest. We're gonna just go stick this by the tree tappers. And, uh, or where the tree tappers are gonna be again. So we just have them ready when we're ready. So let's just stick it here in the middle of the road. No worries. It's temporary. Get the lightning rods and the lamps and everything in here. We'll be back for all these things. Okay. Um, you got all of them already, White Owl? Yeah, I heard it's pretty easy. It's just dropping off certain items in the right box, so... Yeah, I'll definitely do it. It's on my list, so we'll, we'll do that at some point. The Dwarf likes Emeralds, Katakoro. Oh yeah, because the Statue of Endless Fortune spits out the birthday gifts. I forgot. You're right, White Owl. Good call. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go take him the Emerald. And while I'm at it, I should check the TV. Clear and sunny all day. Spirits are in good humor, so extra luck and a living off the land. Item spotlight, keg. The classic use of a keg is to make wine out of grapes. But did you know you can make wine out of any fruit? Yep, you can also make juice out of veggies. Hey Alex, have a blueberry. I'm going into town today, I'll see you tonight. Han Solo is like a speedster. Look at him run around. Can't even keep up with him. <laughs> run, Han, run! Okay, I'm gonna donate or ship an Iridium because that was apparently on my list of things I haven't shipped yet, so we're gonna get one shipping. And I'm gonna plant these trees real fast before we go up to the dwarf. Just gonna get this next row going anyway. So we'll have two rows, then I'll do the third one when it gets dark again. Where did I get the dining table, White Owl? I got it from the Traveling Merchant. She just happened to have it one day, but I've also seen it at Robin's Carpenter Shop, so I think you can get it at either place. I really like that one, though. It's got, like, a pretty little carving on it. Well, Han Solo's gonna have a sister soon. He's gonna have a sister soon. Okay, trees. Lots and tr lots of trees. Okay, maple trees are planted. That's two rows down. Okay, let's go find the dwarf. The hops are ready again. Didn't I just harvest those yesterday? Do they produce every day? I can't recall. Cause that's just annoying. <laughs> to be honest, I don't want to harvest hops every single day. That just sounds bothersome. Okay, Mario, we got places to go. We got places to go and things to see. Cheetos crashed out <laughs> by his water bowl. Oh man. Okay. I don't know why I came down. I could have just gone straight across, but well, what do you know? I went down anyway. Is there anything that the Traveling Merchant can't have? Um, I don't know, Luke. I know there are certain things she doesn't carry. But, um, yeah, she doesn't do, like, wallpapers and flooring and things like that. So I know there's some stuff she doesn't have. But she does have a wide variety of things. So if you're looking for anything, random items, she does have them. But they're always at a big markup. So she doesn't sell anything for a lower price. It's always pretty expensive. Okay. Nothing I want to buy from him. Let's give him his birthday gift. Happy birthday! He remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. And he loves it. Okay. See you later, dwarf. I actually really need to go to the Adventurer's Guild to sell a stupid glow ring. I've been carrying it forever. Maybe we'll go over to the quarry and dig for a little while until the Adventurer's Guild opens. Digging at the quarry! Ooh, coal. I totally need coal. There's a serious coal shortage on my farm. <laughs> I need coal. I need lots and lots of coal. Okay. Ooh, more coal. Get 
that, we've like doubled, doubled our coal. <laughs> I've been using all my coal to make preserve jars, so I absolutely have none. And I still need to make more preserve jars, so <laughs> oh, more coal. Three pieces. I'm on a roll, guys. I'm on a coal roll. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like actually I've been there more recently than I thought, Katakoro. You worked at a quarry once, Matt? Not fun at all. I bet not. Probably really hard work. Well, let's just fish, I guess. I haven't fished up here in a bit. Let's fish. Fishy time. Yeah, I don't know if the merchant does have a dinosaur egg, Luke. I haven't seen one with her. Otherwise, I would have bought a million of them because I don't have one yet. But... <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen one yet. Ooh, that fish is ready to go. This is a tough one. Mainly! This better be something good. For all this trouble I just went through. A sturgeon! Sturgeons are surprisingly hard catches for being just a normal fish. White Owl thinks she does have dinosaur eggs. Oh, I want a dinosaur egg. Well, if I wouldn't forget about going to the traveling merchant like I did yesterday, maybe I would have a dinosaur egg then. Hey, Deboki. Welcome. This looks like another sturgeon. It's a hard one. Oh no. Oh, here's my kind of fish. Yeah, I need more of these. <laughs> I don't even have to move the bar. <laughs> well, hello, Banana Owl. How's it going today? Yeah, I'm doing a little fishing, waiting for the Adventurer's Guild to open. Just gonna check on my monster eradication goals, and I also have a ring that I've been hanging on to forever, trying to sell, so... I thought I'd sell it today, so I can get it out of my inventory. You need a sturgeon gaming giraffe? Well, this is the spot. <laughs> I tell you what. They're not an easy catch, though. You, as you saw, they uh, really whip around. Not the easiest fish to catch. There's a big cloud hovering over me and Mario right now. <laughs> Ooh, <-ee -oo. laughs> A largemouth bass. Yay. Yeah, they open at 2, Luke. The Adventurer's Guild opens late in the day. It's the last place to open. Yeah, there is a legendary fish where I am, Matt. It's a... Uh, you see where the tree is to my left, down on the little island? If I went and stand, stood on the tip of that, the southernmost part of it, there's a log in the water. And uh, here, I'll show you. i show you. <laughs> we'll come right back to the Adventurer's Guild. Just have to loop around the side here. Okay, so... Oh, it's Linus. Here, Linus, have a blueberry. This is great! During all these years, I've discovered a few secrets about life. You'll have to find out for yourself. Okay, good to know. So if you come up here... Come over here, and you stand right here and fish, and you want to fish into that log. And, um... It's a really hard fish to catch, from what I hear. But right here is where you want to fish. You're thinking about starting a new game, Katakoro? Do it, it's fun! I've been enjoying my new character playing the evil Jojimart way. It's been pretty fun. A largemouth bass and a treasure. Ooh, a geode. And some bait that I don't really need, but treasure's treasure. Okay, let's go to the Adventurer's Guild. You lost your statue, Katakoro? How'd you lose your statue? Mainly, here, Abby, have, an, have a ruby. She's always munching on emeralds and rubies and amethysts. I used to think Pelican Town was kind of drab, but lately I'm starting to love some things about it. Well, that's good. She's like plenty of minerals to munch on. I 
There's a legendary fish in the ocean too, but I think there's like four of them, I believe. The one up here, I think, is Legend. Is the name of it. Manly, what are you doing, monkey? My cat's trying to get my other cat to play with him. It's not working out. <laughs> Okay. Miley. Welcome back, Fisherman Hero. I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? It's Penny. Here, Penny, have a blueberry. Thanks for fixing the community center back up. I guess you're kind of a town hero. Well, you're very welcome, Miss Penny. My pleasure. Here, Caroline, have a blueberry. Oh, no, not eat one. Gift one. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Help wanted. Try and keep the art of fishing alive. I'll pay 300 gold to any fishing enthusiast who catches four red mullet. Good luck, Willie. 300 gold reward and you get to keep the fish. Oh yeah, I was planning to check the monster eradication goals, Luke, but I didn't, so no big deal. I wasn't going to go mine anyway, but I was just curious, so I'll do it next time up there. You just lost the egg festival forever, Twitch? Oh no. You restarted your game? <laughs> well, hopefully it's better the second time around. <laughs> Abigail's dinner is emerald sole and fried rubies. Or em emerald soup and fried ruby. Sounds delicious, White Owl. <laughs> nice and metallic-y. Manly! Will you calm down? Too much energy in that one today. Okay, back to my tree project. Manly! Stop! He's a very vocal one. Control. Out of control cats today. <laughs> like, whoa. He's trying so hard to get my other cat, Lexus, to play with him, but she's just laying under my feet looking at him like, no, totally not interested. <laughs> She's like, I'm happy just laying right here, doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay, plant my acorns. Here we go. Acorns, acorns, lots and lots of acorns. Oh, I'm one short. Oh, no. <laughs> It is a catastrophe, Luke, for sure. <laughs> one of those days, I guess. Just one of those days. He gets like this sometimes. He gets all wily. Wily coyote. Okay. There we go. Alright. All of the new trees for the new tree tabber farm are planted. I ripped the place to pieces, I know, but it'll all be worth it in the end. Trust me. It'll all be worth it. I still need to figure out what to do with this section right here. I have this, like, random section of nothing going on, and I don't know what to do with it. Maybe I'll get some hay here out of this grass real quick, though. I can at least do that. Hey, hey! Lots and lots and lots of hay. Do 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 every day. 
Okay, we'll leave that bunch so it'll keep growing more. We'll leave a little tuft. <laughs> a tuft of hay to grow more hay. Have lots of hay every day. For some reason I want to make songs out of hay. Keep it as a field for hay, you think, Matt? Yeah, that's what I've been doing, is just letting grass grow there. Because I don't really have a lot of wild grass growing. The animals keep eating it. I keep trying to plant it right in front of my house just because it looks pretty, and the animals are like, nom, 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 and it's gone. <laughs> so, <laughs> I haven't had a lot of luck there. <laughs> Alright, we're going to just sell all these. They're worth some money, so let's just sell them. Yeah, so right over here, the spot, this is where I've been trying to plant grass, and the the ducks come up and just chow down, and then I end up with nothing. Nothing! A dry spot. <laughs> okay. Drop off all these tappers. I know I'm going to need to make a lot more tappers to accommodate my, my new section. I got a lot of wood. Lots of wood. Alright, let's get the rest of this hops. Grab the animal products. Ooh! I got the money, honey! Look at that. Pop goes the honey. Oops, no, I don't want to eat the truffle. Lots and lots of honey. I got honey for days. <laughs> So uh, today, or last night actually, I released the Indie Guide on Steam. So if you haven't checked it out, I have the address there in the bottom left corner of the screen. And uh, you can go check out the Indie Guide there. There's also some really cool shots of the actual printed version of how the guide looks if you were to print it. And uh, so check that out. Grab the guide, read the guide, share the guide, rate the guide, spread the word, y'all. <laughs> I need your help. <laughs> you can also grab a copy of it over at my website, redlacegaming.com. And the new version 1.0.0 is out now, and it is over 70 pages of goodies. It's double the size of the last version. So if you haven't checked out, do grab a copy. Alright, time for bed. I'm almost out of energy. I can't believe I used that much today. Where do you get a ghost fish gaming giraffe? Uh, you can get a ghost fish in the underground lakes in the mines. Um, you can also get one from killing a ghost in the mines or from the traveling merchant occasionally, but I just usually go down to, I think it's level 20 and there's a lake down there, or level 60, I believe, one or the other. You can go to either one, just any of the underground lakes. I think 60 might be where I catch more. Might have better luck there. A third of your farm is only grass for animals, White Owl? Wow. Speaking of ducks, you saw the swan the other day on your grass, and you're only 60 meters from the river? That's cool, Luke. During the night, you gave birth to a baby girl. Yay! Han's got a sister. What should we name her? Okay, Han Solo's sister is here, and uh, I've been thinking a lot about the name, and originally I was going to name her Leia. So I'd have Han Solo and Leia, but that seems kind of weird. So <laughs> I am going to name her after one of my favorite fellow redheads. So um, if it lets me, I can't type. Here we go. <laughs> so we're going to name her Lucy after Lucille Ball. So I now have a girl. Han Solo and Lucy join the brood. You lost the egg festival again? Oh no, ever twitch darn Abigail. You know, a good way to go is the route of if you walk up to the right and then you see so you go up and then to the right and around the mayor's house down to the graveyard and make kind of a loop. And I usually get about 10 eggs every time that way. Sometimes I get 11 or 12. And so that's a good little route to take, so you might try that next time. Name it Han Solo Sister. <laughs> yeah, giving birth while sleeping, that sounds pretty good. That sounds convenient. <laughs> so I made 17,103 gold. 
<laughs> giraffe. You want me to name everything giraffe? <laughs> I don't think it'd make a very good girl's name, though. What do you think, Han? You have a sister! Woohoo! <laughs> okay, tomorrow is Willie's birthday, so I'm going to need to get a birthday gift for him. Your dad calls you Lucy and says you're a girl. That's not good, Luke. It's not very nice. <laughs> you got eight eggs and got lost the other night, Matt? Or you lost the other night? Oh, you got eight eggs in the egg festival. Wow, I'm just having a moment today. Yeah, I think you have to get nine eggs to win, don't you? I think it's nine to beat Abigail. That darn little egg collecting hussy. <laughs> you wish there was an update where you could have birds as animals and farm or pets? It'd be cool if you could have like pets like a turtle or a bird or a hamster or a fish tank with fish in it. That'd be cool too. Hi Gail, how's it going today? Clear and sunny all day. I keep trying to use the d-pad on my controller to sort through the menus today because I've been playing Dark Souls for two days straight. So <laughs> every time I, I use the controller now I'm, I'm a little controller tarted. <laughs> Spirits are neutral. Okay, let's give Alex his last complete breakfast. We need to make him more food. Here you go, honey. He loves it. Alex's favorite are complete breakfast and salmon dinner. So, uh, yeah. You thought it was ten, Luke? No, I think it's nine. I think it's nine eggs and you have to get ten. Nine or ten. I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. <laughs> Just, I haven't been to the egg festival in a while and, uh, I don't recall the details. Anyone have a suggestion on who Katakuro should marry? It's a guy's account, by the way. So you want to marry a female, it sounds like. Um, well, I think you should go for... Personally, if it were me, I think I would go for Abigail, because she's got great hair. <laughs> or Leia, because I like Leia. I think she's cool. She's the, the outdoorsy gal. I like Leia. So I would do Abigail or Leia. That's my vote, Katakuro. Matt says you have to get 10 eggs, so maybe you do have to- yeah, I think you have to collect 10 eggs to win. Yeah, I just don't remember. Two beautiful tr children. We've come a long way, haven't we? Sure have, honey. Sure have. Nine eggs or higher to win, Giraffe says. Well, there you go. Nine eggs or more. Why is this pathway right here? Did I not get rid of that? I totally didn't. That's left over from when I busted out this wall and expanded my farm. Luke says to marry Leia. There you go, Katakoro. Two votes for Leia. Gail's got the proper question. What kind of personality do you want your spouse to have? That's a good question. Abby loves games. Yeah, she does. I like the cutscene where you get to go play a game with her in her, in her room. That's fun. Get to go play uh, the Prairie King game with Abby. <laughs> it's a corny kind of day, guys. <laughs> oh, it's Poppy Town. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, Leia or Abby might be kind of expensive. You'd have to get your crystallariums pumping out gems so she could chow them down every day. <laughs> Gaming drafts votes for Penny. Matt wants Maru because nobody marries her. That's true. Nobody does marry Maru. She is one of the ones that doesn't get married often. I agree. I think Maru makes herself hard to uh, get to know because she's always up in her room tinkering around. And unless you're going up to Robins all the time, or the mountains all the time, you just don't see her very often. <laughs> I 
Luke doesn't even know who Maru is. She's so neglected. She lives in Robin's house. Uh, she's Sebastian's half-sister. She's always fiddling with her telescope and her little gadgets and stuff. <laughs> Maru did try to kill us, White Owl, yeah. She, <laughs> with her latest science experiment. We need to plant some crops in this area. I need to go get my seeds and check that out. Let's drop these off in the shipping container. Hey, Wabbit! And then we'll go plant some more. So poppies, hops, corn, oh, and the diamond. Oh, and the truffle oil. <laughs> At least she showed some concern, though, when she electrocuted us. She wasn't just like, oh, ha 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 ha, <laughs> in the background. Um, so we could plant... We could plant corn, because it's summer or fall. And fall's coming up, so we could plant corn in that whole area have a lot of corn seeds. Maybe we should do corn. Otherwise I'm gonna have to go buy seeds. I don't have enough of anything that plants or grows quickly. You married Penny and it didn't go so well so you deleted your old game category? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Okay, let's, um, let's get corn planted. A train is passing through. You know, right about now I could actually use a train because I could get some, some much needed coal if it was kind enough to drop some off for me. Not gonna lie, that would be useful. Alright, I'm not even gonna worry that there's not fertilizer there. Just not worth the trouble, so, oops, oops. Okay, swap this stuff out there, get some water on that bad boy. Oh no! No! I pulled out a poppy! Oh, rest in peace poppy, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to steal you. <laughs> Uh, poor Poppy. You're making a girl's account and you're gonna marry Sebastian again, Katakoro. So, so much for the, the playing as a guy and marrying a girl suggestions. <laughs> mushrooms and slimes. The mushrooms we just got yesterday, so they won't be ready yet, Luke. The train just drops things off occasionally, like you you can go up while it's driving by and sometimes some coal will fall off, or uh, you might get some coal or some stone. Um, once in a while you might get wood. It just tosses off some junk occasionally, but sometimes you can go up there and you don't get anything, so... And the train's usually not very long, so you really have to be kind of in the vicinity to even get up there in time. Blueberries everywhere! No crows yet. Well, that's probably not a bad thing. Crows are mean. They steal our crops. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go buy some seeds. I think I'm gonna buy some that are like a, a quick grower, and then I can plant just seeds everywhere here and make a quick buck. These don't look ready yet. Those aren't ready. That's not ready. Okay. The hops are ready. Darn these hops, they grow forever. Oh, my cabbage is ready. Yay! Looks like my star fruits are going to be ready soon. I'm working my way down to the slime room, Luke. We'll go check it. Jam is ready. Jam on it. Jam on it. Look at all this ancient fruit jelly. Wow. Wow. 
awesome, guys. So if you're enjoying the stream today, please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and follow me here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. I'm live every day at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. And if you haven't already, please go over to redlacegaming.com where you can download the Indie Guide to Stardew Valley. And it's about 70 pages of all the goodies you'll want to know about uh, for beginning game and late game alike. So feel free to go check that out. You can also grab it now on Steam, um, or a slimmed down version of it anyway, uh, from Steam. And their address is down there in the left hand corner. So feel free to go check it out. Okay, let's get my ring. My slime charmer ring so I don't die checking on the slimes, because that would be a bummer. <laughs> be a huge bummer. There are different types of trains, like a train with presents, a Santa train, apparently in winter. Interesting, Luke. Huh, I didn't know there was a Santa train. That's kind of funny. It's like a holiday train that cruises through. Okay, here we are in the slime room. All right, Luke, we will see you later. Have a good one. I'm stuck. All right, let's get some more water in these for the slime so they'll make more slime balls for us. There we go. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. All right. I really don't find the slime hutch very exciting. It's not my favorite thing. And I don't really have a need for slimes. I mean, I have two stacks of them. I just don't really understand the, the point. <laughs> I mean, beyond crafting. Like, once you've made the things you need to make with slime balls, I just don't... I don't see a lot of purpose in the slime room. It doesn't seem to have enough benefit for me to want to go in there and, and get stuff. I know the slimes will occasionally drop items like Iridium more and that sort of thing. So I guess there's that. That makes it worth it. Since I have purple slimes. I guess that makes it worth it. Syrup everywhere! Ooh, and a truffle! Truffles everywhere! Didn't even see that one. Drink maple syrup. Ooh, that'd be sweet. <laughs> there are really truffles everywhere. Like, I'm not kidding. It's truffle town. Ramsey and Porky are doing their job for sure. Keep up the work, fellas. Keep up the good work. Alright, let's check on milk. Get some milk going. Milky milk. Wilma needs to be sheared. She's looking a little snarly. Let's make room up here. Okay, Wilma. I've had Wilma forever, but I never closed the barn door, so I think she gets mad at nighttime. So she doesn't really level up very fast for me. I'm thinking about selling her, to be perfectly honest. Because I get so much wool from the rabbits, I just don't know if I really need a sheep. And then I don't have to shear, because the rabbits, you know, automatically drop wool, and I don't have to shear them for it. So it seems like rabbits are the better choice in the late game when you have you know tons of options and you don't have to really worry about it it seems like you just want to have rabbits giant rabbit hutch okay need to get my fruit it looks like milk milk making cheese making cheese sounds like I'm saying mac and cheese <laughs> Alright, fruit time! Let's go get all the fruit. There's Cortana. I didn't even see her over here. Hey, girl! The duck's enjoying his free roam. Since I knocked down all the fences, they're like, Oh my gosh, we can get out! <laughs> We're free! Your main account's Mac and it's a boy and your girl's Macy. <laughs> I like it. That's cute. That's cute, Katakuro. I wish I would have named my alter ego Blue Lace. I didn't do it when I made the account, and so I'm kind of bummed that I didn't. I need to go drop some stuff off so I can finish getting all the fruit. But instead, they're both Red Lace, so yeah. I wonder if you can you change your name of your character after the fact? Is that possible? I just don't know. Drop off all these things. 
Oh, and all those blueberries can go. 118 of them. Wow! Whoa! I need to close my door. Somebody's doing construction stuff, it sounds like. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Yeah, I know you can change your look at the Shrine of Illusions gaming draft over at the Wizard's Tower, but I don't know if there's an option to change your name. I guess if I can, that's probably the place I can do it, huh? Maybe I should go check that out and see if I can change my name. I can change it in the game files. That's true, Katakoro. I just don't know if I want to get in there for that. It seems kind of pointless. I mean, not pointless, but like a lot of work for something that doesn't really matter, you know what I mean? I have poor inventory management. I feel like I do today. I feel a little scatterbrained today. I don't know why. It's kind of... I feel a little tired today, I think is the problem. I wasn't really ready to get up this morning, and I don't know. I feel a little tired today. Just a little tired. Grow trees, grow faster! You're taking too long! I really feel like I want to rearrange some things. Like, I'm just... I'm not really digging this whole setup. Like, I kind of want to get another... Like, move the coop back. Like, move it back here. And then build one down here. And just sell all my animals and redo it. <laughs> and I know that sounds like a lot of work, but I kind of want to do it. Kinda wanna do it. <laughs> okay, I gotta close my door. It's that noise is driving me nuts. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Alright. Okay, so if I were to get rid of this, I would need to get rid of all my animals, huh? To get rid of all my, my nice little animals. Which doesn't really seem to bother me, because then I could have a separate coop for chickens, and a separate coop for eggs, and all that stuff. I think I'm going to do it. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to do it. Void chicken. I guess I can't do it at night. None of the animals will let me sell them. Okay, so let's get these out of here. We'll get rid of the furnaces. I'm totally gonna do this. It's happening. <laughs> Alright, Ever Twitch, we will see you later. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Alright, and I need to sell a duck feather. I apparently haven't done that yet. Which is really surprising to me, but I guess I haven't shipped a duck feather. Go figure. Okay. So we'll just drop these things off here for now. Okay. 820, wow. 
I'm actually gonna go to bed at a decent time? It's so rare for me. <laughs> so rare. I never go to bed at a decent time. Some fertilizer. Some quality fertilizer. Using the fish I caught from my crab pots. Can you rotate buildings or constructed items like a beehive before you place it? Um, I don't think you can, Matt. I think it's a one directional thing. I think people have actually had troubles with that where they place it, you know, like right down here in front of this pond and then they realize that the door is facing the water and they can't get inside. So I don't think you can do that, no. If you can, that would be awesome, but I don't think you can. I can find out when I go up to Robin's and do it. Willie's birthday's tomorrow, so we need a gift for him. If I'm building the coop behind this one, I can transfer your anim the animals. How do you transfer your animals, Matt? How do you transfer animals? I need to know this information. Made 81,677 gold. Booyah! <laughs> okay. Up to 400,000 gold again already. Wow. Weather report. Looks like a storm is approaching. Spirits are perturbed. Queen of Sauce rerun. Okay. Here, Alex. Have a blueberry. You're welcome. I finally have the family life that I missed out on as a kid. Thank you. Oh, we made Alex's family life dreams come true. Isn't that nice? I'm so glad we could help him. So Willie likes diamonds, apparently, because the statue just spit out a diamond, so I guess we got a birthday gift for him. <laughs> Hey, Han. How's your sister doing? Little Lucy. Lucy's sleeping. Okay. When you right-click on them, or however you give them affection on a controller. Okay, I'll try that here in just a sec. Greetings, young adept. I've enclosed in this package an item of arcane significance. Use it wisely. M. Rasmodius Wizard. And he sent us a fire quartz. Okay, let's drop these things off. Fire quartz doesn't go there. Poppies! Okay, so if I click on the animal, change home building. Oh, you're right, Matt! Awesome! That's awesome! Okay, so we just need to build a new one and then build the second one and then break down the middle one because I'm gonna build one up there and one down here and so I'll need to break down the one in the middle. Okay, we'll totally do it. It'll happen. Okay, so let's let's clear out the space for it. Does anybody recall what I need for the chicken coop? For the first one? Is it materials only or is there like iron or something I'm gonna need as well? I don't remember. Why is this down here? Why do I have a torch right here? Mayonnaise for days! Maybe we should use a uh, beach warp totem to get down to Willy. I haven't used totems much, but we can use one. I think I have stuff to make one. Hardwood, two coral, and ten fiber. Let's see if I do. A hardwood. No, I don't have fiber. Okay, so I guess I can't. I guess we have to go find Willy the hard way. Let's go give him his birthday gift. Cheeto! Ooh, sweet peas. Sweet peas. Oh, another one. Oh, and a spice berry. Oh, it's Christmas. Oh, it's Christmas. <laughs> I need a rainbow trout to rub on my sore knee. Please bring me one. A S A P. Demetrius, 195 gold on delivery, and Demetrius will be thankful. 
So I think I have a rainbow trout back at the house, so we'll grab that after we go get Willie's birthday gift. Come on, Mario, we got lots of places to go today. Ooh, cutscene. Maybe. Or is my game just frozen? Yep, my game just froze. Okay, we're back. It's good again. <laughs> Worms. Okay, Mario, why don't you just hang out there? Worms. An anchor. Ahoy, me matey. A coop is 4,000 gold, 300 wood, and 100 stone, but it only holds four animals. Well, that just won't do, Matt. We'll have to definitely upgrade it fast. I guess it'll get us started, though. Okay, so I don't need anything special, so that's good. Thanks for checking on that for me, Matt. I appreciate it. Okay, one uh, diamond. Diamond! Happy birthday, Willy! And he loves it! He loves it. Some fish come and go with the seasons. Others only come out at night or in the rain. Well, thanks, Willie. I'll see you later. Have a happy birthday. Should we go check the coral and see if we have any coral? Ooh, I got crab pot stuff. Crab pot stuff. Put some bait back in. There we go. Alright, so let's go get the rainbow trout for Demetrius, and then we will head up to Robin's and build our coop. Okay, away Mario, let's go. Hi de ho. <laughs> hey Haley, have a flower. It's so hot today, I wish I had some ice cream. Yeah, sorry. Alex isn't working at the ice cream stand anymore. <laughs> oh, I stole the ice cream stand guy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we know she wants more than ice cream anyway. <laughs> okay, let's see if I have that fish. I'm gonna drop these things off though real fast. Ship some of this stuff. Hang on, Mario. We gotta find a rainbow trout. Rainbow trout, rainbow trout. Do I have a rainbow trout? I don't have a rainbow trout. Oh no. Where do I get a rainbow trout? Can I catch one during the summer? Thank you, Gross Hunt. Thank you. Yeah, I'm working on it right now. We're actually doing some decorating and reorganizing today. So, uh, <laughs> I've kind of destroyed bits of it. <laughs> but uh, I'm doing pieces at a time, so some areas are in shambles while others look pretty nice. <laughs> okay, so we want to build another coop, so let's build the coop. And we're gonna build it behind our other one, right here. So, it doesn't appear you can rotate it, Matt. From what I can tell, there's no controls to rotate it. Hey, Lilybug! Welcome back. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna do it right here so there's one block behind it for the fence. So, we're gonna build it here. Our new coop! Yay! Okay, I'll start working on our new coop first thing tomorrow morning. Thanks, Robin. I don't like the birch furniture. I put it in the baby's room, in the nursery, because it's kind of got that pastel-y look, and I kind of did the whole nursery in pastels, but it's not really my favorite. 
Ooh, what's this? I don't have this. How do I not have this? I want one. I want two. <laughs> it's so pretty. Can I put these outside? I want three. Let's try. <laughs> pretty things. I love the pretty things. Squirrel! Climb in the tree. I wonder if I chop the tree down, would the squirrel run back out? Okay, so I need to get some hardwood fence around the coop there, but let's check out this furniture real fast. I kind of like these. These are kind of groovy. Maybe I should change out my red chairs, or my yellow chairs, for, for these. Well, not like that, though. <laughs> Don't just sit in the middle of the room there, chair. It kind of looks like a bench, though. Maybe it'd be good in front of the bed. I could put one on each side. That looks kind of funny, huh? That looks funny. I don't like it. What about... It's just not... It's just not lining up with my rug is the problem. Okay, well... I think the yellow chairs win. They get a stay. Even though yellow's not my favorite. We'll leave the yellow chairs. Maybe I'll just throw down a, one of these to like fill in the space. I don't know. It doesn't match. Okay, I changed my mind. I don't like my mahogany benches. <laughs> I'm upset that I bought three. How do you rotate it, Matt? Um, when you have a piece of furniture out, uh, I just tap A on the controller, so I'm not sure what that would be on the keyboard. But um, yeah, I just tap A to rotate it around different directions so you can have it face all four directions. And it's the same like that with all the furniture. So you can choose the direction you want it to face. <laughs> you pity my boyfriend when him and I go shopping. <laughs> uh, you think I'd buy everything? <laughs> oh no. Okay, I really need some new flooring. I'm really not happy with the flooring in my kitchen right now, but it is what it is. It's what I had. I changed it out, and then I decided I hated it, and I've been stuck with it ever since. Something's gotta change. It's ugly. It's oogly boogly. Hey, Amelia, how's it going? How's your day treating you? You should put a chest next to the, the bench. It's not a bad idea, banana. I could put like a, a chest with a bench on the side up here in front of my bed. Be like a, a place for blankets and stuff. It's not a bad idea at all. Okay, miner's tree. Let's move that. Don't know why I'm carrying around a torch. Let's let's sell that. Bait. I got bait, I got bait, I got bait. Do 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 do. Okay, fencing. Hardwood fences, please. My day's going well, Amelia. Thank you. A little tired today, though. Do I have a picture of my farm, Katakoro? Um, there's a picture of my farm in my indie guide to Stardew Valley. Um, on the very last page of the book. Uh, you can check it out there. It was taken during spring year four. So I haven't taken one recently, but it's the entire farm. So yeah, you can check it out there. I also posted it to my Twitter, uh, which you can get over at Red Lace Gaming. You want to see it there. There's a couple places you can go to see my whole farm. All right, that'll keep the chickens in. Indeed. Can I not can't put one there. Okay. Fair enough, Silo. Fair enough. We're gonna need to move this though so the, the animals can actually get back there. Okay. Now I'm gonna have no light. It's gonna be dark and spooky! Maybe we'll just stick the light here for now. We'll move it later. But that'll do for now. That'll do for now. 
Oh yeah, or I could do a small square table next to the bench. That's a good idea, Matt. Yeah, I'd have somewhere to put your your cup of iced tea, perhaps. I wish you could put benches outside. I want to put it outside. I should try. Can I put it outside? I found out I could put a tub of barrels inside or outside, so maybe I could put a bench outside. Let's try. Now you're tired almost every day, Amelia. Oh no, that's not good. It does not look like it's going to let me. Why not? I need a park bench. <laughs> I need a park bench. Okay, so if I put it there... Then do I have a little side table? I might have one. Um, side table. I don't have a side table. I am fresh out of side tables. Well, shucks. I did get a Christmas tree right recently, though. That was pretty exciting. My big fat Christmas tree. I have a chest. I can put the chest next to it. A chest with all my goodies. Too bad it's empty. <laughs> An empty chest. That doesn't look too bad. I just wish the, the bench kind of matched a little more. It's like a weird red color. It matches this bookcase is what it matches. Sorry, I forgot to take that back down. My mistake. It's weird. You think it looks weird, Banana Owl? Yeah, I'm not sure I really like it either. I'm undecided. It's not really my favorite. I think I might get rid of it. I don't know if I want the, ch the bench in my house. It just doesn't match. I'm so matchy-matchy. <laughs> get another milk and another truffle going. I really need to make more things for animal products and more machines. I just don't have enough having to store things in chests and queue them up and just need more machines. Problem is like everything wants coal and I just don't have any coal. I need to spend some serious time in the mines I think is probably the case but mining's not my favorite. <laughs> I like decorating. As you all know. It's like the peppers are ready again. Peppers! I got pepper poppers! The peppers be a poppin'. Starfruit looks like it might be ready tomorrow. It looks pretty close down there. I got the tall stalks now. I just need the fruit. Oh, you're catching up, Cher? Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing on my, my evil Joja character here lately, and so uh, I have been neglecting my, my main account. Peppers and more and more peppers. So if anybody was watching me playing Dark Souls yesterday, you know I was stuck on that boss, which was a bummer. Well, guess what? I beat the boss last night, so now I'm on to the next area. I'm super excited. Dark Souls 3 is so much fun. I'm really enjoying it so far. I tried playing as an assassin yesterday. I tried starting a second character as playing as an assassin. Uh, not my favorite. I'm not all about the stealth. I'll tell you that. Stealth is not my favorite thing. So I changed my mind and went back to my sorcerer. <laughs> oh, you're not getting enough storms, Cher? That's too bad. I'll trade you. I have non-stop storms. Seems like they're just all the time. Maybe uh, what you should do is make just a ton of the lightning rods, and then that way when you do get a storm, you'd get a lot of lightning. 
So even though you don't have storms often, you'd get a lot of lightning that way, maybe. Maybe that'd help you stock up. Are those giant strawberries? No, these are radishes that I'm pulling up right now. Radish. And these are giant melons, if that's what you're asking, Amelia. These are giant melons. Ginormous melons! I just finally grew those. I was really excited about it. My first giant crops. What's funny is in my other character, I got a giant crop the first year. <laughs> and it took me till my fourth year to get one in this game. So... <laughs> My new album, yeah, I'm in a musical mood today. I think it's because I'm tired. I, <laughs> I'm sorry, Banana, I keep singing. I know. I'll stop. <laughs> Probably killing everybody's ears. <laughs> uh, peppers be a poppin'. What can you do in the end game? Yeah, I think there needs to be more stuff to do in end game, Matt. I agree. There needs to be something. I wish there was like a real estate, like you could buy houses in town and rent them out and uh, have tenants and that sort of thing. I think that would be cool. And that could be like an end game thing, like the buildings are really expensive and especially the shops. Like if you were able to buy the shops, you know, you'd be able to get in a cut of the profits perhaps. I think that would be awesome. I totally like that idea. I wish you'd do something like that. What do you do to get the giant melons, Amelia? Uh, you can plant uh, melons, cauliflower, or pumpkins in a 3x3 three three space, and there's a chance that they will grow into a giant crop, uh, a giant melon. Um, and if you plant a 3x4, you have twice the chance of getting one. So, um, yeah, planting cauliflower in the spring, melons in the summer, and pumpkins in the fall in the 3x3 three three grids will help you get giant crops. And if you plant fertilizer, quality fertilizer is the best, but if you put down fertilizer, you have a better chance of getting the giant the giant crops. And you don't want to harvest them when they're ready. You want to give them a few days to wait after they grow, and then they'll turn into the giant crops. you got to give them some time. But it's pretty cool when you get them. Well, I hope you swim in batteries next year, Cher. I really do. I hope you swim in those batteries. Scrooge McDuck style. <laughs> So I made 19,244 gold. I can keep seeing banana? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you can run out of things to do. That's that's true. When you get into the late game, you can run out of things to do. So that's why I'm spending time decorating. I like making things pretty. And so uh, I figure, why not? Ooh, look, I got an Omni Geo today out of my Statue of Endless Fortune. That's cool. I haven't seen that yet. How exciting. Do I have all the achievements? The two secret achievements? No, Cher, I don't have all the achievements. We were just looking at them earlier, and uh, clear and sunny all day. And I think I'm missing four, and I didn't know about secret achievements, so I'm definitely missing those. It's extra humor today. Extra luck, I mean. Do you have a journal? Don't forget to check it from time to time. It's easy to forget that you've written something important down. Yes, yeah, so let's see my achievements. Um... I'm missing five, so a complete collection, gourmet chef, master angler, full shipment, and craft master are the ones I don't have share. I still have some to do. I'm a better singer than your dad pudding? Well, thank you. <laughs> what do you do with the giant crops, Amelia? Well, you can chop them down and they give you extra melons than you normally would get. Or you can just keep them there. They'll actually stay through all the seasons. They don't die at the end of a season, and they live through winter as well. So they kind of make a pretty farm decoration. There's not really much other than that. It's just kind of a neat thing. And yeah, like Matt's saying, you get nine melons. If you get normally nine melons of a 3x3 three three square, instead you get 18. So it's like double the goodies. So yeah... Yeah, after you get the one million statue, there isn't a lot to do, Cher. I agree. I agree, yeah. That's why I've been playing, I think, a lot on my Jojo Mart character. It gives me a lot of stuff to do, because I'm still in year one, so I have plenty to do on my other character. I did hear that there's a huge Easter egg that no one's found yet, Giraffe. I did hear about that. I'm really curious what it is. I wish someone would find it so we could all know. <laughs> Yeah, you should try another character, like Banana Owl saying, Cher, you should do that. That would give you something to do. It would refresh the game for you to play a different way. 
That's what I'm doing. I'm just making opposite decisions on everything, playing JoJo, and having a good time. We have to make sure and give Han Solo a lot of attention now that we have Lucy. We don't want any jealousy between them. Okay. Hi, Han! <laughs> I've got mail. You got 21 melons off a giant crop once, silly bug? Wow, that's a lot. Must have had some good stuff going on there. Oh, you're only missing one flower share? Oh no. Yeah, I went through my shipment earlier today. Someone asked me about it, and so I went through and looked at all the items, and uh, I'm missing a few things here and there, so... Definitely need to work on my shipping container. Yes, I do. Found some good quality stone. Maybe you can build something with it. George sent me 35 rocks. <laughs> Thanks a lot, George. Maybe I should go down to the blacksmith today and break open those geodes. Okay, I was totally clicking on this chest, but... Alright. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Looks like my red cabbage over here is ready. I love the red cabbage. I think it's one of my favorite looking crops as far as the vegetables go. It's so pretty. All the dark purple. I like it. 27 crows. That... Oh! Speaking of thunder and lightning share... <laughs> Another truffle going. I wish you could get automatic feeding systems on any level of coop because I kind of like the look of like the chicken coop. I like the first one that's green versus red. And I kind of want to just leave it green. You know what I mean? <laughs> it rhymed. Leave it green. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh gosh, I really need some sleep. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. We only have a couple days of summer left. Only a few days of summer. Oh no! <laughs> I am taunting you with my lightning storm. Moo ha ha! <laughs> I don't know what's going on this year. Like year four, summer, it's been non-stop. Like I had lightning and thunder for like three or four days in a row and it just seems like all the time I have it. No kidding, man banana out the mailman's probably tired from carrying all those rocks around for George all the time. <laughs> Go to George Vincent's room and put the strange bun into the toy box because I can only get it on stormy days and it's the cutest statue ever. I'll have to do that. Um, I don't think I have a strange bun. But I was going to do them all the same day, so I'm going to do them all at the same time. Are the statues good for anything, White Owl? Like, do they have a purpose? Really, I can't harvest anymore? Why, inventory? Why? Why must you hate me so? <laughs> Diamonds! Diamonds! <laughs> They're just decoration. Well, that's kind of blah, but I like decorations, so yeah. I like decorations. Decorations are pretty. Ape fixed the issue Red took advantage of in the last update. Oh, yeah. The trees around the edge of my greenhouse. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, as of 1.07, you can no longer plant trees around the perimeter of your greenhouse like I did. They actually have to be planted in the, the dirt plot. 
So, uh, yeah, I snuck into that early and got lucky and was able to do it. But you can't do that anymore, unfortunately, which is too bad, because I think uh, planting them on the edge is pretty nice, because they don't take up any room, and you can use the middle for your ancient fruit. So, yeah. I really liked that you could do that. I thought that was awesome. I think that plant, the plot in there is too small, personally. I think it's too small to plant, really, all the stuff that you want to plant in there. Especially if you wanted to do fruit trees, because now it seems that you kind of have to choose. Like, do I want to plant fruit trees, or do I want to plant something else? So, yeah. Well, I didn't exploit it, Cher. That's how the game was made. <laughs> I was just doing what was allowed. I wasn't exploiting. This was how it was set up originally, so I just did it. And I don't even know if you can put sprinklers on these boards anymore. I'm not sure if that's a thing, too. I know you could before the update, but I don't know if you can anymore. Well, I got two purple mushrooms, two common mushrooms, a morel, and a red mushroom. What an awesome day in the mushroom farm. That's fantastical. Lovely. Do it, share. Make a new account. Do it. <laughs> Do I actually get golden fruits from them? Because I have fruits all year? Uh, no, that just started where you get the quality fruit. So I haven't started getting quality fruit yet. I think it's not really like a retroactive thing. At least I haven't noticed that it is, so... Yeah, I haven't got any of those. Ooh! I got the money, honey! So if you guys are enjoying the stream today, please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and follow me here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. I'm live every day at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. And if you'd like to help support me and my channel, I'm working towards getting a camera and a new microphone. Um, so if anything helps, I'd really appreciate it. And you can make a donation directly through my website, redlacegaming.com, or through the Donate Now button on my Twitch channel. Thank you for the follow, Jiquan. I appreciate that. Okay. Okay. To the blacksmith. Let's go break open these geodes. Sounds like Robin just broke a nail. <laughs> Let's go, Mario. there's a bounty. Slime hunter to slay six red slimes in the deep lava caverns of the local mine. 360 gold reward. They need more high value rewards too in the late game. Like after year four I think the prices need to go way up because I haven't done a lot of the bounties just because the money is so minimal. Thank you Ravenholt. Thank you for following. That is super fantastical. I appreciate that. How close am I to my gold banana owl? Um, it looks like I am at $84.27 out of the $225 gold for a camera and a new microphone. So I'm almost halfway there. Almost. A lot of help from you, so thank you banana owl. And thank you to everybody else that has helped as well. I really appreciate the support. Whoa, check out this wallpaper. I've never seen this one. Let's buy a few of them. That's so cool. <laughs> That's groovy. It's like red mushrooms with a black speckly thing. I don't even know. Let's buy a few. <laughs> it's so pretty. Pretty, pretty. You should check Jojomart for wallpaper too. Jojomart seems to always have the best wallpaper. Oh, I can't ch check Jojomart. Darn it. There's the downside to uh, completing the community center. No more Joe Mart wallpaper. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I always forget it's closed. Going back and forth between characters, I forget about it. Five gold ore. And a dwarven helm. I can give that to the dwarf. He'd probably like it. Oh, thank you, Raven. I really appreciate that. 
Thank you for watching my videos. That means a lot. And I will keep it up, don't you worry. I will be here. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good idea, Cher, if the quests were harder so you actually would do them. Yeah, I just don't feel like they're worth it. Like, at the point, when you get to a certain point in the game, you're like, okay, well, 300 gold, I could make that by, you know, grabbing one of my mayonnaise jars. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when you have 400,000 or a million gold or, you know, 15 million, <laughs> if someone's got that much just seems like they need to be higher. Higher values. Thursday and Robin is nowhere to be found. Okay, to the dwarf. Let's go give him this helmet. He likes all things dwarven, mm -hmm. so I figure why not? Otherwise I'm just going to sell it anyway, so. Probably worth more to give it to the dwarf because I don't have a very high rating with him. I think I'm uh, pretty low actually with the dwarf. Like he's way down on my list. Yeah. Seven hearts. So this will help. Krobus is my worst one. I only have one heart with Krobus. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who's that that I almost have at 10 hearts? Caroline. I need to give Caroline another gift. Get her to 10. You have a chest full of wallpapers and different floorings to share? Yeah, I just collect them. I like them. Rain. It's almost mythical to us. Some of us dwarves live our entire lives without ever experiencing it. That's a bummer. I like the rain. Okay, Dwarvish Helm, here you go. Ah, uh, this reminds me of home. Did I go up? Did I go up, Dwarf? Dwarf, Dwarf? Still at seven, oh well. But I gave him two gifts this week, so that should help. No, it's not his birthday Katakoro. I was just giving it to him because I had it on me, so I figured why not. Oh yeah, Robin is making my coop, Matt. You're right. <laughs> Duh, I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> well, I didn't get my kid till really late, so that's why he's so low, Raven. Yeah, Han Solo's kind of low on the list, for sure, but... I didn't get him till really late. It took me a long time to have Han Solo, and I don't know why. The first time I went to have a baby, it wouldn't let me. Like, something went wrong, and so it started over. It was weird. I don't know how to even explain it, but yeah, there were some problems with whatever was going on. I don't like that there. I keep running into this, and I don't like it, so we're going to get rid of those. Just have the fence go down. Um, but yeah, Han Solo, I haven't seen much of him, so yeah. You collect wallpapers as well, Gail? Yeah, who doesn't? Wallpaper's awesome. <laughs> More wallpaper, mo better. I can give Krobus wild horseradish if I have it. It's one of his favorites. Okay, yeah, I know he likes void eggs too, and I have a ton of them, but the problem is I just never go down there. Like it's, I just never go down there. When I do, I never have anything he likes. I really like this crazy wallpaper. Where should I stick it? <laughs> I could stick it in the study, but I really like my pink walls. I don't know, it wouldn't go. It wouldn't go with my current look. Maybe if I change everything around to like Dungeon Town, maybe it would go then. So stick the floor in there. The wallpaper in here. I have all the junky wallpapers left. All the ones I don't like are what's still in here. <laughs> Make more expensive and better quality furniture, wallpaper, floor, etc. as a money sink in late game. That would be a great idea, Matt. I like that too. If you had some really cool wallpapers and floorings. Like you could get gold floors. <laughs> floors made of solid gold. <laughs> uh, or you could have like diamond flooring. Bling bling. Bling paper. Bling wallpaper. Now you had the same problem, Gail? Yeah, it's weird, the whole pregnancy thing. Yeah, it must have been something that just kind of bugged. Some sort of bug in the game.
Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't be really thrilled on the furniture thing. Sherry, you're right. Not everybody loves decorating as much as some of us do. I'm a big decorator, so I'd be all over it, but I know everybody doesn't like decorating as much as I do, so <laughs> I get it. Okay, I'm moving this bench. I officially do not like it. I don't like it here. I don't like this here. It's gone. <laughs> it's hurting my eyeballs. And now I have an extra chest and I don't know what to do with it. I agreed, Raven. I hate Alex's wallpaper and flooring. It is so terrible. I wish I could get rid of it. I really, really do. That would make my day. Like, I know he's working on adding new marriage candidates. I, I could care less about that, honestly. I could care less. Let me change their room. That's what I want. I want to be able to change the look of their room because it's ugly. Like, they could leave their furniture. Like, if I can't edit their furniture and stuff, that's fine. Doesn't bother me. I think that's kind of cool. It keeps their personality in the room. Okay, but their wallpaper and their flooring? It's kind of ruining the whole look of the rest of my house. You know what I mean? I mean, green astroturf and footballs on my walls don't work. It's not a good look. Oh, cat fell asleep. Oh, goodness. I put cat to sleep? That's not good. <laughs> why is I why do I have maple syrup in here? It does feel out of place, sure, I agree. The bench felt weird there. I didn't like it. My stream influenced your dreams, cat. Well hopefully you had good ones, not bad ones. Yeah, the next car marriage candidates are going to be Emily and Shane. Yeah, I did read that. I voted for Linus. I wanted Linus to be a candidate. <laughs> Hello, Momo. What's going on? You wanted Clinton, Pam, sure. Nice. Yeah, too bad. You didn't get either one that you wanted. Yeah, poor Clint. He's going to be really upset with whoever marries Emily. He'll probably stop selling you tools. <laughs> like, take your business elsewhere. You stole my girl. <laughs> I'd marry Linus, too. I think Linus is awesome. He's one of my favorites. I think he's so adorable in his little Fred Flintstone outfit. Seems like our coop should be done maybe tomorrow, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Seems like she's been working on it for a little while. Linus was the first person I got 10 hearts with to share. Yeah, he was the first one. Racked up 10 hearts with him really fast. It's about an assassin that couldn't decide about her decor. Oh no! <laughs> cookies! I can make cookies? Let's make cookies. Let's go sell cookies because I haven't done that yet. Cookies! I need to make more complete breakfast for Alex. I think I have a couple cinnamon dinners lying around. I could give him those. Cookies! Nom nom nom. They look like little tennis balls. Tennis ball cookies. Very chewy. Chocolatey, chewy, and delicious. If you play a guy, if you marry Leia, her room doesn't look that bad. Yeah, Leia's got a pretty good looking room. I agree, Raven. I like Leia's room. But she does change her wallpaper randomly. She has a thing for decorating, so she'll change the wallpaper in your house. Which I'm not too sure how I feel about that. I like Shane. I think he's just, you know... Not the hunky-dory friendliest one, but I think that's fine. He gets to be friendly after a while. And, uh, I like Shane. He's a good one. Yeah, I think it is easy for Cher, for, uh, for Linus Cher, because he does like so many things. He's pretty easy to please. Do I have the cooking achievements complete? No, I don't, Cher. I don't have those finished. Hey, Taser! 
Leia's changed her walls a billion times. Gaming draft. Yeah, so you're wasting money buying wallpaper, and she just changes it out moment's notice, and you're like, awesome, I just spent, you know, $500 in wallpaper, and Leia comes and changes it to God knows what. <laughs> Elliot changes wallpapers as well. Oh no, Gail, I liked Elliot. I don't want him to change wallpaper. Now you can't stay, Taser? Too bad. Well, thanks for stopping in to say hello. So I made 27,913 gold. Hey Han! Hey Cheeto! Hey Alex, have a blueberry! I finally have the family life, yes we know, okay. He needs to get something new to say. <laughs> she makes you coffee in the morning so you're sold? <laughs> nice Raven. Lucy's still sleeping, okay. Sleepyhead Lucy. Looks like all my wine is ready. Sounds like Robin's still working on my coop. It's like a lot of stuff's ready to harvest here. Lots of stuff. Two more days. Oh, the traveling merchant's here. Let's go do that before I forget because I'm awesome at not visiting the traveling merchant, so let's make sure we do that. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Cher. I think all the villagers are kind of, you know, deterred to talk to strangers, and then after you get to know them, they're like, okay, and they open up and they're much more friendly. Which is, you know, very real life anyway, so yeah. I think it's a good way to go about it. To the traveling merchant we go! Yeah, Leia does make a lot of salads. She's all about the salad. Salad! Salad for days! Tulips! Wow, those are expensive tulips, I'll tell you what. Is the Traveling Merchant the only place where you can get rare seeds, Gail? I believe so, yes. But they always have one, so you can buy one twice a week. You can buy two a week. Cherry saplings, those look cheap. Twenty-five fifty. I think those are less than they normally cost. Cave carrots, she's really selling tulips today. Three tulips. Clay, magnet, cave carrot, basic fertilizer, salmon berry. It's like the junk store today. Oh, I don't have this dining table. Let's buy that. It's long. It's cool. It doesn't even fit in my box. Look at that. It extends past the sides in my box. <laughs> and a rare seed. I always buy the rare seed. Let's go grab some hardwood while we're down here. Since I have to make all new fencing. Fiddlehead ferns! If you're looking for fiddlehead ferns, be sure to get into the secret woods during the summertime, because otherwise you're going to have to wait a whole another year before you can get them again. If you're working on that for the community center. I haven't played any of the Rune Factory games pudding. Do you play a lot of those? Another fern, they blend in, they're so camouflage. What do you get from a rare seed mat? Uh, a rare seed will produce a sweet gem berry, which if you're in the secret woods where I just was, if you give old master cannoli a sweet gem berry, he will give you a star drop. But after that it's really just making money off of them for profit, but they take 28 days to grow so they're really slow growers, so they're not the best crop. 
not the best crop at all. This tree is not supposed to be here. Yeah, they are worth a lot of money. Yeah, it's just they're such slow growers. And they don't continue to bear fruit like the ancient fruit seeds. You have to actually replant them, so that's why I like the ancient fruit more. Slimes. More batteries. Batteries for days. Okay. Mahogany table. Look how big this thing is. It's huge. Huge. We're just going to throw that in a chest. It's again that weird color. It doesn't match anything. I don't have mahogany stuff, so I'd have to change out all my furniture to mahogany, and I don't want to do that. So we'll stick it there. I heard that too, Cher. I was wondering if a tree got struck by lightning. I think one totally did. I'm not sure where it was. It sounded like it was in Cinder Sap Forest. In which case, no big deal. Hope it wasn't one of my fruit trees, though. I always seem to lose my fruit trees to thunder and lightning storms. Keep the green algaes. I can make a dish out of them. Okay. I think I have a whole chest full of them. I don't know how many I have in there, but I know I have a lot. Alright, ancient fruit. Make some more wine. I think the table is better stored in a box too, Raven. It's not my favorite. It's huge, first of all, and it just doesn't really go with anything. It's kind of boring. Okay, anything over here need to be harvest? harvested? Harvested? Mainly. Oh good, the star fruits are ready. The star fruits and the hops. Mainly. You wake up from your nap. Star fruits. I love the star fruits. They look like little uh, palm trees when they're planted in the ground. Little palm trees. They're cute. Manly. What are you doing? Oh, there's the tree that got knocked down. It was down here. There we go, Cher. There's the tree that got struck. Just one of my random forest trees. Works out. Save me the trouble of cutting it down. <laughs> Alright, Taser. Welcome back. Glad you returned. You have a red dining table from the traveling merchant, Cher? Ooh, red sounds pretty. I want a red dining table. I like mine because it's got the little pattern on the top. I like the pretty pattern it's got. Okay, these trees are taking their sweet time. We have two that look like they're to the third stage. Come on, trees. Do your thing. <laughs> you think the cat wants a star fruit? I think he wants one as well. He wants outside, but he was out all morning, and then... Uh, he fell asleep inside, and I had the door still open, so I was freezing while he was sleeping all cozy. Oh, he's just being ornery today. Yeah, Manly, you're being ornery today. <laughs> it does take forever. Yeah, I was just talking about this earlier, Raven. I totally want an automatic crop harvesting system. I would be all about that. That would be lovely. Someone needs to start a vote. <laughs> start a vote. Pass it along. Yeah, you almost need like a tool that would upgrade or harvest stuff, kind of like your stuff you use to plant, you know, and it, as you level it up. Like maybe it's kind of shears or something. As you level them up, you uh, can harvest like a whole patch, like you can water a whole patch at once. They need something like that. So you still have to go do it, but it would just be more efficient than one at a time. 
Okay, so here's my algae. I have 45 algae. I have lots. Lots and lots. I don't have a lot of star fruit, though. Um, I was gonna wait till my chicken coop was finished, cat. Which I think will be done tomorrow. He actually did make an update to the fruit trees share that, uh, update 1.07, now when the lightning strikes the fruit trees, um, there's something happens to them, but I don't know what it is. He didn't disclose that information. So I'm not sure what the perk is, but he said it was something good happens now rather than it just breaking your tree. So I don't know. You can always turn down the sound for your lightning if it's freaking you out. There's a... I think it's part of the ambient, ambient sound, so if you just turn that down then you wouldn't hear the lightning as much. <laughs> Let us hire Linus to do all the harvesting. Oh, that's funny, Raven. <laughs> Yeah, if we could hire farm hands, that'd be cool. Come on, Robin, make the coop faster. I want to move stuff around. Then I'm going to need her to start building me my next one. Grapples! Hey, Pam, take me to the desert. I want to go to the desert. So if you're enjoying the stream today, please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and follow me here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. I'm live every day at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. You can also visit my website, redlacegaming.com, where you can download the Indie Guide to Stardew Valley, and you can also make a donation there or directly through my Twitch channel. And anything helps, I'd really appreciate it. It uh, helps me continue to make these live streams every day for you guys. And I'm also working towards right now getting a camera and a new microphone. Worms! Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed twice! <laughs> Third time's a charm! I need two green algae for the dish and two or four white algaes for another dish. I know I can make the uh, cup of soup or whatever that is with the white ones. I have that one that I make. Is that the one you're talking about, Cher? Hey, Rex. <laughs> she is a magician. Three days for the basement or the, the flooring and then uh, one night for the rest of the building. Maybe she's got like pre-made pieces so she just pops them up when she's ready. Honey. Okay, I was gonna buy some beets to get ready for fall, so let's buy some beets. Get our beet on. Buying lots of beets. I got lots of beets. Oh, maybe I should give her a gift while I'm here. Here you go. Have a blueberry, Sandy. This looks wonderful. Thanks so much. My name's not really Sandy, you know. It's just good for business. But everyone calls me Sandy anyway, so I've just gotten used to it. Ooh, well, I wonder what her real name is. What do you guys think her real name is? I think it's like Tiffany. <laughs> for some reason, she looks like a Tiffany. Yeah, I got the beat. I got the beat. I got the beat. I got the beat. Yeah. All right, bombs, life elixirs. Let's do it. We're gonna drop off our miners' treats, I think. Or do I want to bring my miners' treats? Nah. Let's leave those. Okay. You think it's Susan Katakoro? She could be a Susan. I could see that. Okay, Mask got the endgame figured out. Let's let's check this out. Ooh, coal. Thanks, slimes. 
I got the onion figured out. Either Pierre or George Mart, depending on your choice, want a specific crop to sell and they want like 250 of them and the seeds are really expensive. Interesting, Matt. I like that idea. Alright, I need to go talk to Lewis. Today was the last day to do that. So we better get back now. I forgot. I forgot! Well, that was a short mining trip, don't you think? <laughs> Super short, but I got some coal, so uh, it was a success in my book. <laughs> Shortest mining trip ever! No, I didn't see the video where the guy got down to like level 400. That's crazy, Cher. That's so far. Hey, Papyrus, what's going on? You harvested 100 cave carrots yesterday? That's a lot. Her real name's Bob, and she's a high race of aliens, because she lives in the desert. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I need to find Lewis. I need to find Lewis. It's an emergency! He's probably at the saloon, because it's Friday night, so I might get lucky here. Lewis! I come bearing gifts. There he is. Ah, Red Lace! So you helped us with our slime problem. Thank you. I hope you didn't go through too much trouble. Those slimes can be pretty dangerous in groups. It should be a little easier to go spelunking now, thanks to your efforts. Enjoy your reward. 360 whopping gold. Wow, we're rich, guys. We're rich! Have a blueberry, Harvey. Hi, Red Lace. Uh, read anything interesting in the library lately? Well, um, I'll see you around then. Harvey's so weird. He's such a weirdo, but I like him. <laughs> pumpkin soup. I don't think I have any of those. Someone might like pumpkin soup. You never know. You're making lemon pepper chicken papyrus? Well, that sounds tasty. I like chicken. I don't know what I'm going to have today. I might have noodles for lunch. You got to level 130? Wow, Taser, nice job. And then you got the quest from Key to make it to level 25 the next day. Oh, that sucks. I'd like to put a topaz on a chain. Please deliver it sometime today. Linus, 240 gold on delivery, and Linus will be thankful. A topaz on a chain, huh? Well, luckily for Linus, we have lots of topaz lying around. Lots and lots. At least, uh... Robin works day or night, rain or shine. She's like, I'll get this job done, I promise. It'd be a bummer if she didn't work in the rain. It would take forever for me to get anything done because my farm, it's raining all the time. The guy that got super deep into the mine dropped 500,000 gold and bought stone and made stairs and just tunneled down really fast and used bombs to blast his way down. Wow, yeah, I could see doing that. I should try it sometime. Did he get anything good way down there? Like, was it worth it? Did he earn his money back? I wonder how far, like, the record is of somebody getting... Did that guy get the record for the farthest dig? Get a job at the clinic or something? I don't think I'd want to go work a job in the game. I it disrupt my day. I feel like that would be more of a hindrance to me than a the positive. Personally. Okay. Mushrooms. Lots and lots of mushrooms. Okay. 
Come on, Robin. Manly! My goodness. Alright, I know I haven't made a pumpkin soup, so I'm going to sell it because it'll probably go towards my cooking goals. That's the only reason I bought it. Okay. Let's go to sleep. Manly, manly! Oh my goodness. Well, do you've seen anyone reach his 404 loans? Wow, that's a long ways down. That is a long way. Okay, so I made 114,092 gold yesterday. Not bad. Yes, my cat's name really is Manly. Sure. We named him after my boyfriend's, one of my boyfriend's favorite authors, Manly P. Hall. Yeah, he's a manly man. <laughs> find all the books? I think I've already found all the books, Rex. I think I got all those. Got those really early. I was digging worms like crazy. He got lots of iridium and prismatic shards. Oh, he didn't end up. Or he did. He did. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool if you got a lot of iridium and prismatic shards down there. I guess he got something then. Yeah, I know, Giraffe. He just won't shut up today. I'm sorry. <laughs> he just won't stop. How low does it go, Gale? I think it's infinite. I don't think it has bottom, as far as I know. Well, my cat talks a lot, too, because he can't see very well, so he's just more vocal than normal cats anyway. But today, he's especially feisty. He's, like, running around the house and climbing on his cat castle, and he just seems to be in one of those moods. <laughs> Level 360 onward, it's pretty much full of Iridium loans. Yeah, I don't know if I'd ever see level 360. It seems like it would take so long to get down there. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the dance, the moonlight jellies. The event will take place on the beach starting between 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. Don't be late. Okay. Is it built? Yay, my new chicken coop is built. It took forever. Okay, so we're going to eventually move all the animals out of there and into there, and we're going to build another one down here. And I'm going to have one for rabbits, or one for chickens and ducks only, and the other one will be for rabbits. So that's the plan. And the rabbit one will be full of looms, and the other one will be full of mayonnaise machines. So this one's going to disappear. But for now, that's what we got. So... And our tree tapper farm is in the works. We're getting it underway. We've removed it all and replanted. I had two spaces between each tree before, so I'm making it more condensed. So I'm getting more items, so I only have one space between now. So uh, hopefully that gets going soon. But I think that's it for today, guys. So I hope you had a great time. I really enjoyed hanging out, and uh, I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. I stream every day at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. Please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and follow me here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. You can also visit my website, redlacegaming.com, or you can download the Indie Guide to Stardew Valley. And uh, you can also check it out over on Steam. The link's right there in the side, the bit.ly link. So check it out, rate it, share it, love it. Have fun with it. I hope you enjoy it. And um, if you'd like to make a donation to help me support me and my channels, you can do that through the website or through the Donate Now button directly on my Twitch channel. So thanks a lot, guys. I'll hang out and chat for a little bit, but otherwise I will see you tomorrow.